What's going on, folks? It is your boy BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. You're used to hearing my voice. Now you're going to see my face a little bit more. I'm going to change the way that I deliver content so it's a little more interactive, uh, hopefully a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. If it's your first time here, this is the number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling. So hit subscribe, please. Impact Wrestling Fallout is tonight. Not the broadcast itself, but the television taping at the Don Collar Arena. It is tonight. It will be this Friday. It will be broadcasted this Friday on Impact. And the winner of this whole thing, the, the, the winning team, are going to face each other on Impact Plus at the Unbreakable Show. Um, let me get back to that. Let me let me go backwards here a little bit at what Fallout is. Now, at first I thought Fallout, I thought everyone was, I thought it was a random, very similar to Joker's Wild, where you just had a random tag team partner. Joker's Wild was a great concept, but the the show was never good. The teamings, the team, teaming, is that a word? The teams were never good. The delivery by Jeremy Borash making it sound like we were at a carnival. You know, there was some comedy involved. Like, I don't think it was ever good, but it was a good idea. Hopefully, Fallout far exceeds that but as i said at first i thought they were random teams because if you follow impact wrestling on facebook they had this little random team generator how it shows faces do 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 selects a face boom tessa blanchard sammy callahan all right cool um but that's not the case they're actually teaming with their enemies now they have to get along with their enemies because the winning team will face each other august 3rd at the unbreakable show on impact plus that's going to be at Santa Ana, California. My brother's going to be there. Ro, the great, is going to be there. I do travel to California almost every month, but I will not be there. But their Bound for Glory is coming my way, so I will uh, catch that. But I digress. The winners will face each other, and the winner will be number one contender for Brian Cage's Impact Wrestling World Championship. Now, this is a great concept. It is a great innovative idea in my opinion, but I was not clear on what it was. I don't know how clear you guys were. Maybe you spend more time on social media than I do and you were, and you understood what was going on. I had to go to the Impact Wrestling website today to fully understand, okay, what's the stakes here? What's going on? Now, how would I, I deliver this different to make it a big deal? You guys know I was a big fan of, uh, I didn't watch All In, but I was a big fan of how they announced each of the competitors they had their own standalone graphic with the consistent is all in next to them. Um, they would announce them. People would get really excited. Like I was really impressed with how they marketed the show. Now with this, with Fallout, I wish it would have been just delivered as more of a big deal. You you, you feel me? So if not that anyone's asked my opinion, but since I enjoy thinking about this kind of thing, I'm going to tell it to you anyway. What I would have done is I would have announced Fallout on at Slammiversary um, and you you know via video not Josh Matthews behind the table video you know voiceover make us clear on what the concept is and then deliver that video on YouTube Twitter Instagram Facebook deliver on all your social media platforms so everyone is clear what it is we're expecting because what they did was just like hey fallout is coming what and then they give us Sammy and Tessa, and we're still like, wait, what's going on here? So they are teaming with their enemies. But what I would have done is said, you know, announce it at the pay per view, announce it on all social media platforms, because so not everyone's watching the pay per view, and say, tomorrow, Monday, on Twitter at this time, Eastern Standard Time, we're going to announce team number one. I would have announced Sammy and Tessa number one, just like they did, because that's the big money team. That's the one that's going to get people talking and interested. Like, okay, these two after this great match at Slam Reversary, now they're going to team together. I really like that little doo 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 random generator they did. So keep that. Don't don't have Josh broadcasting from his kitchen. Ha keep that. Keep that concept. And then you announce the first team on Twitter. The next day, okay, we're going to announce the next team. It's going to be, but it's going to be on YouTube on Tuesday at this time. So now you're bouncing your audio, your audience, I'm sorry, from one platform to the other. You've got traffic coming to both. You kick off YouTube saying, if you don't know who we announced yesterday, go to YouTube right now. Links in the description, however you want to do it. Send people back to Twitter. Um, I think I might have said YouTube there. Twitter. And you're going to get new subscribers at Twitter. You're going to get new subscribers at YouTube. Then you let them know that video tomorrow. 
We're going to announce the third team, but it's going to be on Facebook. You do the Facebook Live with the do 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 generator. All right. And then the next day, okay, now we're going to be at Instagram. So now what you're doing is you've got your traffic, your audience bouncing from different platform. You've got uh, you, you just, you've got traffic coming from all angles, and hopefully you're getting new subscribers at all these as well because you might have someone that just follows on Twitter. Maybe they click the YouTube links, but they never subscribe. Well, now, you know, you're, maybe you're given an opportunity to actually subscribe, or, you know, or maybe they didn't care about the YouTube before, don't care about the Facebook, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But build up all your platforms and then get, just get the people involved and get them excited. You feel me? Like, if you're just you know, say, Hey, fallouts this week. And, and we don't really understand the concept. And now we understand the concept. Okay. This is cool, but I would have liked to have been excited all week for it, you know, but it's, it is what it is. Hopefully this is something that can be a really big deal in the future. I think it would have even been cooler though. If you took the actual wrestlers at Slammiversary who were on the card and made those guys team together. So that would be really cool after Slammiversary every year saying, okay, well, fallout is next week you just saw these two rip their heads off now they're going to be a team after this you, you know what i mean so if you don't want to do the random do 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 generator thing just do that where we know that these guys are going to team up after slammiversary is over it would it'll keep the momentum from slammiversary because i was looking at some uh google numbers today google search numbers like the day of slammiversary and the and the remain you know the surrounding days Traffic was super high for impact. And then by the time I got to Tuesday, it dipped like considerably low. You know what I mean? So you have to you have to ride the wave of Slammiversary through the week. That's good marketing. You feel me? So I think Sammy and Tessa are going to win this thing because most likely impact look at their Google, you know, their, um, not Google necessarily, but all their analytics, social media wide. They looked at their traffic. They look at their searches. Most likely Sammy and Tessa were right up there at the top. I, I'm almost sure of it. They're right up there at the top. So it makes sense. You want to ride that momentum a little bit. Maybe they're the ones that face each other. Is that going to happen too soon? Yeah. If Tessa wins, is she going to be in the world title picture too soon? Yeah. Or maybe they use this as another opportunity to where Tessa can't quite get over the hump with Sammy or she's just still, you know, not quite getting up there. Maybe it's a very slow burn. Who knows? Most likely it's not because wrestling's really afraid to do that now but impact usually does a pretty decent job at that they don't usually rush things but we'll see um moose and eddie edwards teaming together i have interest in that interest in that as well um i think that moose is ready to challenge for the world title now um i think i'd be okay with eddie being in the title picture as well but moose is doing such great work so i really want to see him there so it's Sammy and Tessa versus uh, Dave Christ, who I'm really excited to see him get in there. You know, I've, I've said many times that I feel like he's a forgetting mom, member of OBE. He's the one I really like. Like, I want to see him out there more. So I'm happy he's involved in this. Um, every member of OBE is. That's, that's why I said, you know, only two of them wrestled at the pay-per-view. So that's why I was like, you know, maybe take the actual competitors from Slammiversary to be in this event. But it's fine. It's whatever. I like Dave. He's going to team up with Trey from the Rascals. Um, unless they're living, living under a rock, yeah, Tess and Sammy are going to win that match. So um, I think that's going to build up to those two facing each other in the finals, but we'll see. Uh, Moose is teaming with Eddie, like I said. I'm really looking forward to that one. But they're going to take on uh, Rohi Raju. I'm so sorry I'm going off my memory here. Rohi, Rohi Raju and Cody Diener. So I'm sure in real life, Rohi would have loved a team with Jake, but, um, you know, they got something going on too. Hopefully those two will get to be able, be able to show what they can do against Eddie Edwards and Moose. Uh, I'm pretty sure Eddie and Moose win this thing though. Um, another team, you know, other members of OVE, Jake Christ, he's going to be with Wentz from the Rascals. So we've got two members of the Rascals. They're going to take on Madman Fulton. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Madman Fulton and Rich Swan. So, you know, Rich Swan had the program going back, you know, dating back a couple months with OBE. Contrasting styles, X Division champion. Maybe Rich Swan gets into that world title picture because he's done everything he can do in the X Division. But that's why I think he's actually going to face Willie Mack next for a program because you got to get a little more creative now that he's basically run through everybody. 
it's hard to imagine Madman Fultz losing at all. It's hard to envision the X Division champion losing at all. So maybe this is the team that, that pulls it off. We don't know. Michael Elgin is going to team with Willie Mack. They don't, we don't know who their opponents are, but just use your common sense, like R. Kelly would say. Use your common sense. It's going to be Rhino, and it's going to be someone who has he has a history with. And you know how much Impact loves to use this man as a surprise partner. So expect Rhino to team up with Tommy Dreamer to take on um, Elgin and Willie Mack. That's what I think is going to happen. You know, don't quote me on it. It's not a spoiler. That's just what I think is going to happen. And um, Michael, you know, it's, it's, but this, you know, this event is called Unbreakable. So, it, you know, you could also, you know, picture Michael Elgin winning this thing. But I don't see him and Willie Mack being the match that they want to headline Impact Plus with. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, those two can put on quite a show. But Rhino couldn't show his face at Slammiversary because he's still under wwe contract but it was said he would be at the impact taping so um you know he was very soon coming off that contract so most likely they can't announce him as an opponent because he was still under contract so you know like i said use your common sense that's most likely who it's going to be if it's someone else cool you would have shocked me but i'm expecting rhino and the uh, ultimate mystery man tommy dreamer and what i really think is going to be a good show I really wish there was more teams to this. You know, maybe it's a two episode special. I don't know, but but Impact hope I hope I hope next time you step up the social media game, make it a really really big deal, get the people involved, get them excited, make them understand what is coming, ride the wave off Slam anniversary through the week with Fallout. You know, don't let those social media searches stop on Tuesday. Keep it going. Get people ready for it. So I'm I'm really curious and excited to see what they're going to do. I'm looking forward to it quite a bit this Friday on Twitch or on the Pursuit Network, whatever they call it, Pursuit. And uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll see if, if we'll see if the winner of this like is, is a really credible contender for the title. Like when Johnny Impact won the X, I actually didn't think he was ever going to cash it in, and he did. So. And then we also had the tag team titles change on the last Impact Plus show, so they're they're starting to make them a big deal, make them feel more must watch as you know before they just literally felt like house shows. You felt like nothing was going to happen. So, thank you for swinging by. Uh, let's talk fall Fallout in a week. And um, if it's your first time, as I said, hit subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.